ワンピース行くぞカラッ vs カタリナ・デヴン The Strongest Females in One Piece by Legendary Anime Hi everyone! Flying Panda, since Carrots first appeared back in Chapter 804, I've wondered and hoped that she might someday join the Straw Hat crew. To me, she has all the qualities to become a member with her personality, strength, and fighting style. All she's missing is a dream. As each Straw Hat member has one, so it only makes sense for her to have one too, if she were to join. We have some ideas for what that dream might be, but first, let's take a look at the inspiration behind Carrot for some clues and past events she's endured so far. The minks themselves are inspired by legends from ancient Greek, a s a p For those who may not know who a s a p is, he's regarded as the man who wrote the first fables, stories of animals who had speech and personalities, so to speak. Should stories include the hare and the tortoise, the lion, the mouse, the wolf in sheep's clothing, the goose with the golden eggs, and many more? These, however, are more known for the series, I'm sure many people remember those childhood stories. It seems that those stories were the inspiration behind the mink tribe and Zo, o as well as more as the new world has started to unfold. I mentioned in previous videos that since entering the new world, The world of fables and folklore has been the inspiration behind most of what we've seen. This also includes characters like Big Mom, the Big Mom Pirates, various characters in Dressrosa arc, e l b a f which is fable spelled backwards, and Usopp. I'd like to note that Legendary Anime did a full feature on this around two years ago, and with all the connection and how it would impact the story, as well as a certain city that might hold a hidden clue. Sadly, YouTube took it down. So, we'll be releasing that video again in this channel. Anyways, back to Carrot. We believe Oda has not only used the inspiration of Aesop Fables for her, but rather something even bigger and something that could have a greater impact within the current Wano arc. Carrot is modeled after the Moon Rabbit. Again, for those who might not be aware of this legend, the Moon Rabbit in folklore is a rabbit that lives on the moon. Based on pareidolia, that identifies the markings of the moon as a rabbit. The folklore originated in China and then spread to other Asian cultures. In East Asian folklore, it is seen pounding with a mortar and pestle, but the contents of the mortar differs among Chinese, Japanese, and Korean folklore. In Chinese folklore, it is often portrayed as a companion of the moon goddess Chang'e. Constantly pounding the elixir of life for her, but in Japanese and Korean version, it is pounding the ingredients for rice cake. In some Chinese versions, the rabbit pounds medicine for the mortars. Our carrot's connection to the moon rabbit are as such, most notably, she is a white rabbit, which how the moon rabbit herself is described. Carrot felt trapped on Zo, e always wondering what the outside world looked like, just as the moon rabbit resides on the moon. Carrot, like all minks, has a connection to the moon, seemingly a curse of sorts, and she was the first mink we saw transform at the s i g h t of a full moon. There was a reason for this, most likely in relation to the moon rabbit connections and Carrot becoming almost godlike in a Sulong form. I might add that Sulong means moon lion. Within the story Journey to the West, Sun Wukong faced off against the moon rabbit. Could this be in relation to Carrot attacking Luffy over him eating her carrots? Another interesting connection is that Carrot named one of her attacks Electrical Luna, meaning Electrical Moon, yet another moon based connection. Probably the most interesting piece of information is that of the Moon Rabbit making an elixir of life. A potion said to grant the drinker immortality. Does this mean Carrot can make the elixir? I doubt it, but if it turns out that Carrot has a fondness for potion brewing or alchemy, then maybe it's one of her dreams to create it. On the other hand, it seems more reasonable for her dream to be to travel the world and see everything. As mentioned, until now she never left Zo, e and for all intended purposes, seemed to be trapped there 
as leaving Zhou could be considered a crime. People, for example. However, if it turns out that this is her dream, we're sure that the Dukes will grant her permission. Seeing as they travelled with Roger and Kara could also make Pedro's dream come true. Pedro's dream was to help Usher in the new dawn. He believed that Roger was that new dawn, but after meeting with Luffy, he saw that it is Luffy who might be the one. Carrot, having a strong sense of duty and respect for Pedro, will absolutely want to help the Straw Hats and see that her former master's wish comes true. As for Carrot's role in the crew, it seems she might be best suited for watch duty. She proved to have naturally heightened senses and self-awareness which she is about to react to dangerous situations rather quickly. As a musketeer, she's proved to be able to handle herself in battle and coupled with her Sulon form, she has the potential to become that much stronger in future battles. It is for these reasons that we believe that Carrot is the next Nakama to join the Strawhat crew. I will also add that she has a skill that can benefit the current crew members, for example, her drawing abilities. She's been shown to be a fairly good artist and that she has stated that she can draw maps. This could help Nami with her dream of creating a map of the world. Take this into consideration as well if the crew was to ever go to the moon as has been theorized before, who is better to accompany them than the moon rabbit? If you check out Legendary Anime's old videos, Minkman revealed, it theorized that the minks came from the moon, originally. As in their space journey arc, the space pirates are minks. If you haven't seen it, we may do a remake version here. On to the second part of the theory, something that we're going to add onto this theory, based on chapter 925, is Katarina Devon's devil fruit power and how it impacts why Carrot should join the crew. So in the many reviews of chapter 925, we learned that Katarina Devon has the mythical zone type Nine-Tail Fox Devil Fruit. And wow, what a reveal. Now many people may be a little skeptical of why she has this devil fruit, and we believe that it's going to be down to the Nine-Tails being so relatable with Naruto, and the fact that Naruto is the hero of this story. So it's possible some people might not see what the Nine-Tail really is. In mythology and folklore, the Nine-Tailed Fox is commonly a spirit or a demon. He is said to have the power of shape-shifting and would use that power to lure in people so that it could eat them. Depictions of the fox spirit can be seen as beautiful and majestic with white fur and a grace about it. We know that Katarina Devon with the power of a devil has ability to shape-shift will make for it to be the quite the troublesome power. We might be thinking, well, it's no different to Bon Clay's Mane Mane Nomi clone Devil Fruit, but there are some differences. Bon Clay could only clone the person he'd come in contact with by touching them with his right hand, and though his clone copies were spot on, he couldn't change his atir, his clothing. What we mean by this is that Devon not only can transform herself into anyone, but even the clothing changes with the transformation, as seen when she turns from Absalon to herself. But did you notice mid-transformation she turned into the fox first? This is the trait, the fox spirit. It's a perfect transformation down to the last detail, even memories. She feeds off her target's memories to create the perfect transformation which could fool even someone's mother into believing her to be her child. The perfect copy. The power likely has its limits and can copy the victim's physical abilities and possibly their powers, but to a weaker level. The power is more to fool a prey into a false sense of obscurity in order to kill them while their guard is down. On top of her devil fruit powers, Katarina Devon is most definitely a skilled fighter and is well trained in the martial arts. How do we know this? Well first off, is her choice of weapon. Three times skip she's seen using a spear at Marineford, unlike most of the crew who use guns when killing Whitebeard, so that choice of weapon was interesting. In many martial arts dojos, you find a variety of weapons, but for practice, you use a staff as its most non-lethal, and depending on the type of wood it's made from can be quite soft. Seeing as this was her choice of weapon led me to suspect that she has some Eastern connections when relating to her character, which leads us to believe she will prove to be trained in martial arts. Seeing as she's possessed the Nine-Tailed Devil Fruit, and has features of a Tengu. Oh yes, she may have some relation to certain characters we met.
but for now, we'll focus on the Nine Tails. In some myths, the fox spirit is said to be at the side of the goddess Shi Wang Mu, Queen Mother in Mount Kunlun. If you heard of Marvel Comics Hero, the immortal Iron Fist, then you have heard of Kunlun and what it means. For those who aren't aware, the Kunlun or Kunlun Shan is a mountain or mountain range in Chinese mythology. An important symbol represents the Axis Mundi and divinity. The mythological Kulun is based partially on the Kalish temples and partially on the Kulun mountains of the Tibetan Plateau. Different locations of the Kulun have been given in the various legends, myths, and semi historical accounts in which it appears. These accounts typically describe Kulun as a dwelling place of various gods and goddesses where fable plants and mythical creatures may also be found. Many important events in Chinese mythology took place on the Kunlun. Besides from Warno, there could be very well be other countries with the Eastern style ways of living. Possible place would be where Kamadori and Robluchi learned life return, which is a form of mountain hermit arts. It's possible that there is a country that is inspired of Kunlun and is where those either from or outsiders can learn techniques like martial arts or life return. Again, we believe that Katarina Devon has the skills of a martial artist, which also adds to why she's one of the most dangerous women within the One Piece world and sets her up to be who Carrot will face off against, should she join the crew. Not to compare One Piece and Naruto, but I'm sure all can see how this works. Nine Tail Fox vs the Moon Rabbit, Lightning User. Sounds familiar, right? But that isn't the intention here. Though there are some similarities, this can't be denied, but it's common for the series to have some themes that can be compared to others. But if Katarina Devon is shown to be a skilled hand-to-hand -hand fighter, then Carrot is the best matchup, as she herself is a combat-style fighter. Another thing that suggests that Katarina is a skilled martial artist is the way she performs her jump in Chapter 925. It's a small detail, but if you see how she moves, you can see it's just as graceful as when Carrot jumps. It's an age-old tale. The Hunter, the Crescent Moon Hunter Fox versus the Prey, Sulong Moon Lion Rabbit. It's a battle to determine who will be at the top of the food chain. Anyways, what do you think of this theory? Please leave your comments down below. Please click like and if you haven't, please subscribe to Flying Panda and join our Discord. Luffy, I'm going to be the decision of Sit